youtube welcome back to my channel here go again with a new video um just uh, let me tell you about these nails let me tell you about these nails so i have the app called pixart and they have like this option where you can do an ai photo so i had no idea in my head I know I wanted a color combination that was not your typical color to put together. You guys know me. I like weird colors, um, weird color combinations. Um, you guys should already know my type of style of nails. If you've been following my channel for a long time. And I just, I had an idea in my head of nails, but I couldn't think of something to put together right i just knew the color combination and i was like oh my god i need like inspo i don't see these colors together for the most part how can i combine them so the colors i wanted to do was brown and neon green right i was planning to use the regular basic neon green and brown acrylic but then something came to my head to let's do an ai image and see what comes up and boy i'm so glad i did because i got a lot of nail inspo from ai that i want to do for the future for future nail sets right so i put in the pixar uh ai video or is it image thingy <clears throat> and i put brown chocolate brown neon green diamond nails something like that or glam something else and the pictures that came up i was gagging okay gagging gagging it gave me so much inspo it made it it clicked something in my brain where i was so happy i was like yes yes finally some bomb shit i'm about to let me post the pictures because i'm doing this voiceover at six in the morning made my coffee had me a bagel and now i need to get to cleaning a little get all the dinner stuff ready because i have a full book today today and let me edit this video before i start all that so I can upload it for you guys <laughs> but that was the color scheme i want ah! girl you saw that in my poor fit i didn't even remember that <laughs> but let me pause this real quick so i can <clears throat> add the pictures that i um that i like the most from the ai image creator thingy let me add them real quick okay so i uploaded them but look how gorgeous these pictures are oh shoot i should have put them in a longer maybe i'll do that once i'm done with this voiceover but i was just like oh my god jelly nails that's what i'm gonna do the only thing um with all the layers i used the nails started getting lumpy and bumpy that i feel like i want to recreate this set but make it better because like i was happy with the color scheme and everything but there was like gel polish techniques that i haven't mastered yet <laughs> because um initially i wanted to do like the bubble effect but i wanted it to look matte so i was just over here like how do i is that even possible to do i don't know i don't know what the hell am i doing <laughs> probably got nail glue on there or something but oh my god i just have so many more ideas from that set i did it was funny this day i would i was just like i should have left the whole length too <laughs> i'm over here i don't know why i'm trying to decide lately i've been haven't been doing my super long nails you guys but it's because i am doing a lot more at home 
cleaning, cooking, that I do not ever want to damage one of my nails. I don't. But for my birthday, my birthday is November 18. I want to do a cute, cute, super long set. But you'll see, the base of these nails were so cute, I can't wait to do it again. And you guys know, I leave my middle fingers longer and then my pinkies shorter by length. That's just what looks the best to me. I, it is weird. Sometimes I don't, like I know it doesn't look like aesthetically pleasing when you put all the nails together and one is longer and one is shorter. You know, I see everybody tries to match the, all the lengths the same, but for my eye view, like, when I have my nails open and you know in my in front of me and I extend my fingers, it just looks better to me to have uh, my middle finger longer and the pinkies one one notch shorter just because the middle finger it is always wider than the ring and the pointer and then the pinky is so much smaller. If it makes sense. You guys do what you guys want to do, but that's just how I do it, okay? <laughs> but you're going to see the set. Just the acrylic, I could have left it alone like that, like clear with jelly um, nails. I mean clear with jelly polish. But I love the brown combination, but I just wish it was a little bit cleaner, neater, just because you guys know I'm not like this master at gel polish. I could have done way thinner layers um, and not so much gel polish on them. So the work could have looked cleaner and not so lumpy at the finished um, set. You'll see what I'm talking about. There was a lot of stuff that I could see with my eyes that I was like, oh, that's not cute. Oh, that's a little lumpy. Mm, whatever because I, I wasn't gonna go back and fix it fix it because it was these nails were done super late at night and you guys what am i doing plus i was just doing a lot of weird shit when i was doing these nails if i'm being honest <laughs> i have also um more sets coming um that i recorded so my goal you guys is to try and have a new video every two to three days okay i don't know how i'm gonna do it i don't know when i'm gonna do it but i'm gonna try because i do have right now i do have like about three to four videos pre-recorded i mean clips and stuff but they still need to be edited and in my head i was like why don't i just focus one day and edit everything as much as i can and then upload everything to the YouTube channel, but make those videos private. And then every two, three days, just on private one. And then the next one, and then the next one like that. Because I was like, that's actually like less pressure for me to actually randomly choose a day, edit, record, and try and upload in one day. Like one single video. Wait, am I making sense? In my head, I'm making sense, but me saying it out loud doesn't make sense anymore. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is just, for, since I already have videos recorded, I can edit them here and there until I have the final videos all edited and ready, save them and upload them to YouTube. Is, is that making sense? Or is it just me in my head arguing with myself? <laughs> but, since I was applying jelly polish to the nails, you guys know that I do sand and buff the nail tips because I've had the thing, I don't know, a lot of people say it doesn't happen to them, but it has happened to me where the acrylic lifts off the whole gel polish. It has happened to me before. That's why I always have to do this here. I'm telling you, one time I did some snake foil, the client came back and like the nail tips, she started picking at the nail tips underneath 
the acrylic because she was like, look, the whole nail tip with the foil is just... So she told me, I never want you to do this again, honey. <laughs> and I was like, girl, you are picking at it. Why are you picking at it? Like, obviously, the more you pick at it, the more it's going to come off, right? But uh, I have, like, something on my nose. It really hurts. It's a pimple, I think. Every time I try to wipe my nose, it hurts really bad. <clears throat> but here I am using... um. The rose sanding bands. I think this is 180 grit. I've been purchasing so many sand bands, you guys, that I'm not satisfied with any of them right now. I've purchased medium grit, fine grit. Um, oh my god, why did I just get an animal detected at home at 6:53 a.m. and it's my damn cat? I'm, I need to go get her ass. Okay. I'll be right back with this voiceover real quick. Give me a second. Okay, I'm back. Ooh, this little girl. She just wants to escape. <laughs> so let me tell you guys a story. Um, <clears throat> two, three weeks ago, we decided to put the Arlo ring camera doorbell thing. And... The weird thing that when we installed these cameras, well, not these cameras, the ring thing, whatever. Um, Danny, my boyfriend was tell it, say, telling me, I just hope we don't see like creepy shit, you know, like, you know, he was talking about like ghost stuff, like, so every other day, like around two, three in the morning, it always turns on and it's like creepy, right? But let me tell you, since the first day we installed the ring um camera um we've noticed that at five from 5 45 to six in the morning we always get a notification right that um someone is there right obviously <coughs> where i live no one know there's apartments behind the house unless you're told because even when you search up the address on google it just shows a driveway if i'm if it makes any sense it never shows like an apartment building behind the house because where i live is a bunch of houses you can't even tell there's no apartments the, when you go down the street it just looks like a bunch of houses <clears throat> so my apartment um, is behind a house so you have to go past the parking lot to get to the three apartment complex area and obviously my apartment is the third one so the apartments are like one two three right next to each other they're like two floor apartments so the bedrooms are upstairs kitchen and living room downstairs right so to get to my apartment you have to go through the whole parking lot and pass those two apartments so no one should go to our area like no like for example if we have no visitors or nothing no one should ever be back there if i make any sense like we should be like our building doesn't exist type stuff <laughs> So where I'm going with this is that for the whole, it was like literally a week or two <clears throat> that at 540 something our ring um, always turned on. I never really looked at it. I just saw it like, oh, maybe it probably is a neighbor going to work, whatever, because our doors are right next to each other. But one morning, because <clears throat> every morning I open all my doors like in the morning i open the front door the back door no matter how cold the how cold it is i open them because every morning i light incense or sage before i start my day so you know i don't want the smoke to get trapped all in here obviously when you whatever right so our light outside our door is messed up it just recently broke down so it's not turning on so you guys know like those metal doors that if the light is on outside you can see outside 
but if a light is off outside you cannot see outside but you can clearly see inside our building inside our living room so it broke down it hasn't been working for the past two three weeks but the camera has night vision i guess so <clears throat> let me get to it danny woke up one day and it was like i feel like i need to talk to the neighbor and i was like why do you need to talk to the neighbor for he's like yeah he even leaned back to try and get a better look and i'm just like what are you talking about so he said i suggest that you keep this door closed every morning and then i was like okay so he sends me the video that he captured from the ring camera i have the app i could have just went on the you know and watched it but our neighbor the husband of the of the you know the older lady older complaining lady the husband has been lurking into our door so <clears throat> obviously i cannot see outside so i can't tell if anybody is standing there or anything but you can from the my door you can see into my living room and then half of my kitchen and the only one that's up at 5 40 some in the morning it's me preparing danny's lunch and breakfast for work so now i've been a little uncomfortable because dude has been looking inside hella obvious i don't know if he does not know that we have the ring camera or what but it has been every day um so on i think that whole week i kept leaving my door open but we noticed that he did it every single day before he closed his door he would take a step back and take a little peek and you know now i'm uncomfortable now i'm like what is it that you're looking at and you know people are making jokes like when we tell our friends and family they're like making jokes Ooh, lucia he trying to take a peek at you and your pjs and i'm like uh not funny uncomfortable <laughs> i mean it's funny just because uh he really is doing this every fucking morning y'all and it's like the creepiest thing ever so then he's like you're not opening the door anymore and i was like till we get the that bulb fixed because we put a new bulb or whatever and it's still not turning on so now we're thinking it has to do something with the actual electrical thing so now i can't open my doors in the morning i want to i can open the back door but there's no airflow. And once I open the front door is when I get airflow through the living room and the kitchen. But that ain't that creepy. Like, ew. Like, man, what what do you need to look at up in my apartment? So on the first day that I decided to leave my door um, closed, he walked all the way to my window area to try and take a peek inside. So that's when Danny was like, no, it's intentional. Inten like, he's... He wants to see something in here. Don't know what it is that he wants to see, but there's something he wants to see in here. And I'm just like, that's wild. That's crazy. I want to kind of post the video and show you guys, but I need to learn how to blur out faces because I don't want his, you know, I don't want no problems. And then this is social media. And what if somebody does recognize him? And I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. <laughs> But imagine that. Like, lady, go get your husband. The fuck? Imagine for, like, three weeks straight of that. Like, literally. Literally. So, once I started closing my front door, like, I don't open it anymore. Um, he's, oh, so far stopped. So, I'm over here, like, since he has stopped, um, I kind of want to start opening my door again. But what if it triggers something and he starts doing it again? um my boyfriend hasn't said anything to him because he's like well he hasn't physically done anything to you um plus he's not here when you know like his wife is the one that's home all day like me where i must you know i'm a stay at home wifey y'all i just do nails in my in my backyard now <laughs> 
but imagine that. Mmm, creepy. But see how simple this base is? All it is is jelly polish, gold foil. Um, this glitter at the bottom was like little like shards, I think. I think it was like a really light lime green and some like goldish holographic shard glitter and then i had this um mylar paper it had a red bottom um i don't know if if you guys can see but behind the foil it was actually red so it made it look like a copperish color i mean i put it up right because i was gonna put um the green neon jelly polish over it but look how simple and easy this this was to make I should I even could have left it like this because I thought it was so pretty but I wanted the holographic glitter through show to show through the colors I was putting on because I did use brown jelly polish <clears throat> but this alone imagine doing these nails in every color like neon pink neon yellow neon blue with a brown oh my god it just gave me unlimited ideas for new sets but that's all i did um you'll see later on the process of the other stuff mm, i already told you guys what i would have wanted to change just apply thinner layers of gel polish so they would have not got him like bulky and bumpy but i did what i could <laughs> okay you guys i'm out hope you guys like this video it looked like i've been talking on the video for like 22 minutes and let's get to the spanish don't forget to comment like and subscribe hola chicas chicos bienvenidos a mi canal ya les hablo un menjurje de cosas en inglés ahora aquí estoy con ustedes en español al principio del video les comenté que uh, Hice unas uñas inspiradas por lo que le están diciendo AI. Es esas aplicaciones que tú le describes una cosa y te dan fotos que ellos crean. No, no sé cómo se hará toda esa magia. Entonces yo no tenía ninguna idea qué es lo que me quería hacer. para. La, bueno, tenía una idea de los colores que quería parecerme para, la, para las uñas. Pero no tenía como la idea de cómo quería poner todos los colores ni nada de eso entonces usé esa aplicación y creo que puse ya las fotos al inicio del video de la inspiración o de las uñas que me salieron del producto de usar esa AI no sé cómo se diga inteligencia oh no espérate si ¿Sí es artificial intelligence en inglés en español va a ser Ay Dios. Inteligencia artificial. Algo así, ¿no? Corríjanme si estoy mal. Pero usé esa, eso para diseñar este set. Lo único que puse de, de información eran uñas cafés con verde neón y diamantes. Y no sé qué más le puse, ¿da? Y me salieron esta combinación de colores tan hermosa. Esto es, mi, esto es aquí mi pedo. Aquí esto es donde a mí... Esto es lo que me fascina. Estas combinaciones de colores. Cosas que no se ven juntas típicamente. Cuando has visto estos colores así mezclados. No hombre, me fascinaron las pinches uñas. Ay, ay, sorry. Me fascinaron las uñas tanto. Que dije voy a crear algo inspirado en eso. Y esto es lo que me, sal, lo que me salió. Inicialmente, fíjense que, que estaba así como a ver si, si va a funcionar esto, a ver qué me sale. Pero fíjense que fue algo, mira, no sé. Yo acá haciendo gestos y ni me pueden ver. Pero me enamoré de este, esta combinación de colores. Me hubiera gustado hacerme las más largas. Pero imagínense estos, este diseño con café, con cualquier color que, que se vea. Creo que se miraría bien con el anaranjado, con el amarillo, con el azul. Una combinación. A mí me gustan esos tipos de combinaciones, chicas. Colores cobres, dorados, casi el plateado. Fíjense que no sé por qué, pero casi el plateado nunca me lo he puesto en las uñas. Solo con piedra. Pero no soy muy... Fíjense para que vean cómo soy. 
a mí me gusta la plata mis anillos son de plata mis cadenas son de plata mis aretes son de plata casi el oro no me gusta no sé por qué para ponérmelo yo como mi joyería no pero en mis uñas siempre el dorado siempre el, do el dorado el como se llama el cobre pero nunca plateado si han visto casi no me pongo plateado en las uñas siempre ha sido dorado no sé qué, qué cosa rara es esa ¿verdad? <risa> pero díganme qué pensaron del diseño y todo a veces se me olvida lo que platico en inglés pero les voy a platicar esta historia um, que no tiene que ver nada con uñas pero es para las que han estado viendo mi canal <coughs> y quieren estar en el rollo de todo, déjales platico. Hace un mes pusimos el timbre ese que tiene cámara en mi puerta. Pero fíjense que donde yo vivo, um, nuestro apartamento está separado de la calle principal. So, cuando uno pasa por aquí no, sabe, no te darías cuenta que hay apartamentos detrás de la casa. So, está la casa... Luego atrás de la casa está un estacionamiento y luego están los tres apartamentos y yo soy el tercero de mero atrás. So para atrás nadie nunca entra, solo si tengo un paquete de Amazon o algo así, pero nadie se debería de ver pasando ni caminando por mi apartamento porque ya topa con una puerta y ya se hace mi yarda. So esa, esa yarda es nomás de nosotros, ¿verdad? Entonces, desde que pusimos la cámara, chicas... El vecino ha estado de metiche queriendo ver adentro de mi apartamento cuando se va a trabajar. Entonces yo no sabía ni nada, pero mi novio un día bajó bien enojado diciéndome, quiero que ya no abras esa puerta. Y yo me quedé, ah, cabrón, le dale, ¿por qué? Y le hace, no, pinche vecino, hasta se hace para atrás para ver mejor para acá adentro. Y pues a veces, obvio, chicas, yo estoy en la, en la privacidad de mi casa. Luego, pues a veces ando en pijama o en chores o camisetas nomás. Y como pues nosotros, nuestro apartamento está hasta mero atrás. Y pues las ventana, la ventana, na, básicamente no deberíamos de ver a nadie por nuestra ventana ni por nuestra puerta. Porque el espacio que está enfrente de nuestro apartamento es nuestro espacio y no es para que nadie vaya estando pasando y pasando porque si vas más para adelante está nuestra yarda y si te vas para enfrente ya se empieza la puerta del vecino ¿Sí me no sé si me explico entonces um, básicamente pues qué incomodidad ¿eh? de que todos los días en la mañana el señor se, se quería asomar a la puerta y nuestra puerta es de esas de metal que tienen puros hoyitos. Ya ven que si la luz está prendida, se ve para adentro, ¿verdad? Si está, si está fuera oscuro, se ve para adentro, para adentro clarito. Pero como nuestro foco de la puerta de afuera, se no sé qué pasó, ya le pusimos foco nuevo, ya no funciona. Se ve oscura, oscurísimo afuera. So, cuando, cuando estamos sentados en la sala, no podemos ver a nadie en afuera. No se puede ver que ni hay alguien parado ahí ni nada. Entonces imagínense yo preparando el lonche y el almuerzo para, para Daniel y, y en cuenta que está alguien ahí viéndome. ¿Sí me entienden? So, imagínense todas las veces que abrí la puerta y si no teníamos esa cámara, a lo mejor ya estuvo haciendo eso el viejito. Yo no sé, ¿da? <risa> Pero nos da risa, ¿da? Pero a la vez, qué incomodidad porque ya pues... Yo no puedo abrir mis puertas en la mañana porque todas las mañanas prendía yo incienso o prendía... No sé cómo se dirá sage um, en español, la verdad. Me gusta quemar eso en las mañanas y abrir todas las ventanas y todas las puertas. Porque no me gusta que se siente así como... Me hace sentir como que se me tapan las narices, no sé. <risa> Pero imagínense, imagínense. Bien enojado acá mi novio y diciéndome, ya no me abras la puerta. Y pues yo me pongo aguitada porque a mí me gustan abrir las puertas todas las mañanas. Y luego a veces le, le ando dorando huevitos o algo y no quiero que se apeste todo el apartamento a huevo. Pero la última vez que dejé mi... Que se, no, la primera vez que cerré la puerta, de todos modos se quise que se quería asomar y se quería asomar, ¿verdad? Ya para el tercer o cuarto día 
fue capaz de caminar hasta la ventana de nuestro apartamento para ver para adentro. Pero como puse ahora sí cortinas negras, negras, no se ve para adentro nada, nadita. Y dije, era nomás pinche viejo, todo querían, ay no. Pero casi les quería poner el video, los videos que tenía, pero dije, no, no, qué vergüenza, qué tal que alguien lo reconozca y le diga algo, sabiendo cómo son todos aquí en el internet, dije, no, no, mejor no, no voy a subir nada. Lo voy a dejar así, pero déjales cuento el chisme, ¿verdad? Ay, no, estas uñas, no te miento, Ira, se me hicieron, ay. Yo no sé por qué, por qué, por qué, pero miren, así solitas se ven bonitas también. Nada más para darles unas piedras y sas. Bueno, chicas, no tengo nada más que decir en este video. Ahí las veo para la próxima. Voy a estar tratando de literalmente subir más videos. Ya estoy más, mejor, más tranquila ya. Ya que sepultamos a mi primo y todo. Y me siento mucho mejor. Ayer lo fui a ver, fíjense. Y estuvimos tomando unas micheladitas y todo. Ahí con música. Disfrutando pues a la familia. Y ojalá tengamos más momentos así con mi familia. Y tenga yo más momentos así con ustedes. De que esté subiendo más videos. Yo no soy la típica muchacha de las uñas que anda como las demás no sé cómo explicarme pero yo subo lo que yo pueda y lo que a mí me gusta no estoy aquí para enseñarles cómo aplicar uñas yo nomás quiero que vean es, yo nomás grabo videos para pasar el tiempo en mis tiempos de aburrimiento porque ya cuando no tengo clientes pues sí limpio cocino y todo pero a veces me la paso aburridita que digo deja subo un videito déjale algo le platico de algo no, yo la verdad aquí no estoy para enseñar a nadie a hacer uñas. Yo siento que eso, esos emprendimientos se deberían de cobrar y pagar. Si me entienden. Se escuchará muy feada, pero... Negocio es negocio. La familia es familia y las amistades son amistades. No se deberían de mezclar tanto. Yo no más... <ríe> yo les digo eso por la experiencia que he tenido con gente que le he enseñado de a gratis, con gente que he ayudado. No es que me... Yo... yo ¿Cómo se dice? No quisiera ser así, ¿verdad? Pero llegué a entender que esas cosas se separan. Esas cosas no se mezclan. Porque hay gente que se deja de hablar. Hasta con la misma familia, si les debes algo o si te deben algo, te dejan de hablar. Y pues digo, oh, cabrón, le digo yo que tengo la culpa. Pero por eso, para todo se debería de cobrar. Si vas a prestar, cobra. <risa> bueno, yo no más les digo, ¿verdad? Bueno, ojalá les gustaron las uñitas estas. Usé... Um, ¿Cómo se le llama el jelly polish? Como... ¿Cómo se llamará esto? Um, este es esmalte. Este esmalte de gel es transparente. O se usa un café transparente también y un café como anaranjadito, como color siena. Para mezclar um, el café al color que tenía de base de, de verde. Pero ay, estos colores juntos me fascinaron. Yo no soy mucho, muy, mucho de usar gel. Ay, perdón. Pero estoy practicando. Lo único que siento que a lo mejor apliqué mucha gel que se quedaron... Ay, Dios mío, discúlpeme. Que se quedaron medias... Ya no se miraba la uña lisita. Se empezaba a mirar como bien dispareja, bien boluda. Pero pues estoy aprendiendo a usar el gel. Ténganme paciencia. Yo siempre nomás he hecho encapsulados y acrílico. Casi no soy mucho de usar gel, pero ya he comprado harto gel que no te imaginas. Que dije, me quiero enseñar a usar gel. Porque antes que usaba yo el gel, nunca se me curaba. Se quedaba como mojado por adentro. Y, ay no, era una, un dolor de cabeza. Pero ya veo que lo más lo uso, más este... Cada que uso el gel, aprendo algo nuevo. No sé cómo explicarlos, pero como que aprendo algo. Digo, oh, si lo hago así. Oh, si lo dejo curando tanto tiempo así. O... Oh, y cosas así. Voy aprendiendo, voy aprendiendo. <risa> bueno, nos vemos para la próxima. Ojalá les guste este videito que platiqué más. Que hablé de chismes, hablé de uñas, hablé de todo. Um, y... No sé, háganme un comentario, platíquenme algo. Ustedes quieren que haga videos donde platique más y no me preguntan nada. <risa> bueno, 
déjenme un comentario uh, denme un like suscríbanse al canal y nos vemos para la próxima adiós ojalá les gustó el diseño bye bye nos vemos